Hello and welcome to this Tecla structure video. In this video, you are going to be learning how to apply wind braces automatically in between extensions, just like this. Okay, the horizontal braces is called the compressions bar, while the diagonal it is called the tensional bar successfully. So we are going to be applying both of all of that automatically in between the two stanchions successfully and we will proceed to carry out the preset that will actually make you to have a very model instruction successfully in this video. Alright, so for us to start, I will first of all show you how you can fit your work area or how you can fit your model into your work area successfully. You can see this is my work area line and you can see my model well fitted. Okay, so if your own is not fitted, what you need to do just align your model just like this okay right click and then navigate to the fit work area to selected uh parts okay not in all view but you can as well apply to a selected view successfully so click after which the work area will be fitted just like this successfully so let us make progress we want to start to apply it the wind brace automatically we'll go to application and components right here and over here you can type tent as intention and then select these options scroll down so we are going to be considering tensional brace and compression bar these options all right so if i select that right click click on the property i want this property at default just like this nothing is set so this i will show you how you can set this successfully and how this work effectively so at default if i want to place the click on modify apply it and okay so i will hold this control key and then press the module of the mouse so as to update this this way just like this okay then i select the first station select the second station to have this place successfully i can right click and interrupt and then i click on the space right click and then withdraw view so to have this very model just like this okay you can see all right so this is the default so i will have to carry out some settings to be able to have okay this being divided and then the compressions bar being applied successfully okay so for us to do that you can as well double click on this to have the dialog or i close this dialog and then i right click having selected this i have to delete this up i click double click here to have this i have a preset right here so if i select in this standard provision you can see we embrace this is a preset that i actually uh set successfully i click on load first and then i apply there modify applied and okay now if i select the first station select the second station you see this has been placed successfully and i click and interrupt click on the space right click and then withdraw view so you cannot see what i have here okay so this is my own preset i will be showing you how to do this kind of preset successfully so you can be able to use it in your project i will select on this right click and then i click on delete options to get rid of that now i double click on the micros and then I will change here to standard and I will load so here will be empty just like this so let us start the settings okay at first I want to be able to provide where the diagonal braces is going to actually start okay from the bottom of the stanchions I will have that to be 200 okay so I want it to stop at height of 2500 okay so here there will be a tension there will be a compressions bar here so i will have a, a space of 250 for that compression bar so i can have that to be 2750 right here so the upper height is going to be 4000 4900 just like this so with this setting now if i placed it now you will notice that i will have two of these are uh, uh tension uh, your first uh, tension bars successfully or tension tensional members all right so if i click on modify I click on applied 
and hit OK. I select the first station. I select the second station. You can see what I'm having. So if I right click and enter, click on the space, right click and then withdraw view. You see what I'm having? All right, so I'm actually having the Google plate that actually links these two together. So you can actually separate it just as I separated in this other side. So zoom closely and I select on this, double click on it. I have this, I come to the parts provisions. You see the option that we are using, a good template connecting the two uh, diagonal braces. Okay, both the top and bottom successfully. So if I select the information, I can be able to use these options to separate it successfully. So I click on modify, apply it, and okay. So you cannot see what I'm having now. Okay, I have been able to separate this. Okay, but the micros has not has not still passed check, right? So that means there, will, there is a clash going on there because it's showing this uh, uh, color successfully. As you mean, it's showing green, it will be okay, all right? But that is not an issue. Select on the space, right click and withdraw view right there. I want to be applying the compression bar right away. So I will double click on this and then I'll get to the compression bar provisions. So there should be a distance between the tension and the compression bar if I want, all right? So I will, I can key in the distance. If I don't want, I can key it, key in zero right there. Okay, so over here, the same thing is applicable. I can key in zero, zero and zero. Okay, so after which I can come to create bar options and then I'll click on yes. Over here, I click on yes, and then this provision as well. I click on yes. All right, having done that, I want to have uh, my compression bar thickness. Which of the bar am I going to use for compression bar? All right, so I can click in this provisions right here. This will take me to, to the properties. So, in the properties, I can decide to choose a rectangular hollow sections, okay, as my compression bar. All right. So if I select these actions, I can go by 100 or 102 by 50. I expand that. So I can choose the second options right there. Click on the apply it and OK. So this is going to be my compression bar. All right. So we have, I have already had the part number. OK. So my part number is going to be C for compression. And then it's going to start from one. So my assembly number is going to be C or uh, B, okay, compression bar, and then I have that to be one. The material you select in these provisions, you come to steel options, you scroll down. I want to use steel strength of 275, apply it and okay, just like this. The name is compression bar, okay, so I can't. Give the name right here as compression bar right there. Okay. So after which I can click on the modify. I click on apply it successfully. So you can see that it's been applied automatically right there. So you can see, but there is a kind of a close clash right between the compression and the tension bar successfully at the connection point the the plate is being actually clashing all right so i can't also be able to I can also be able to adjust that using these provisions so you come over to the provisions you can do an offset of 200 and then over here we can have an offset of 200 so let's just have an offset of 200 and see what we have right here just like this okay then after which we will select this click on modify so you can now see what i'm having it's been shifted away from it right just like this 
okay but the distance is much so i can equally adjust i equally adjust the offset successfully so over here i'll adjust the offset to let's say 100 because that's what we're going to have at 100 i want it to be closer to the tension bar successfully so i'll be able to be 100 just like this okay so let's select this member modify so closely you can now see that this is model to some extent this is model to some extent so i click on apply it right there so you can now see that we have actually created an automatic uh, tensioner and as well as a uh, compression uh, bar successfully between two stations I can select in the view right click and with your view to have you see it very well but i want to be showing you how i created this type of connections see this type all right with the rod just like this i want to show you how i actually successfully create that because you can see this is an angle ion all right this is an angle ion but in this one it is a rod and with another additional plate here that connect to the uh, weighted plate with the stanchion successfully so how i create that is this you have to get back to you have to get back to these provisions this is where we have uh, the sections of the tensioners okay the tensioner bar so select in this provision so we want to change the tensioner bar sections to circular sections successfully i will select in this provisions and i'll go to rod options and then click on apply it and okay over here this is 50 millimeter diameter so i will change that to 30 right there and i'll copy it from here take it to the provisions Ctrl v on the keyboard to have it paste successfully the same thing here Ctrl v to have it paste okay so i will also paste this just like this so with this you can give it a part number and then as well as an assembly number successfully well let's just go by this i haven't done with this settings successfully just like this select this off this uh, continent that we have already placed okay click on the modify so once you click on the modify you can see it has changed successfully if you check over here you see what i'm having it's just the same thing with this right so i haven't done with these settings and if you're okay with these settings you can preset this all right so how do you preset this you come over to where you have standard here give it another name right here okay so i can call this name brace one just like this so we click on save us right here so we have it in these provisions now click on it modify apply it and okay so we want to use our presets i will have to right click and withdraw view you can do control arrow on the keyboard and pick at this base so i can a bit about the base i want it to be in this orientations as you closely just like this i want to be placing it in between these two stations in these directions okay along the line b and i click and interrupt that okay so i will select on this double click on it to enable the properties so what i will now do is to come to these provisions we have standard and pull out the one we said we embrace one click on load make sure you load it all right so that it can work click on modify apply it and okay select the first station select the second station you can see it placed automatically right click and enter up select on the space right click and redraw view so this is how you can apply it an automatic embrace and as well set actually 
uh, preset that you can often use okay successfully when you are designing whether yeah, we're still building a tank stand so this is how you can actually carry out this uh wind press settings successfully and then be able to carry out a preset of this kind to be used later on on your project successfully i believe that you have learned one or two things in this video do not forget to like do not also forget to subscribe to this channel of so regional statue for more advanced presentations of this kind stay safe and bye for now